an intercity uh, fast train. And it's off. Oh, I think it's coming in from the, from the, from the, where it is, from here, from Madrid. This is Largo El Senoret, or the Senoret Lake in English. And I'm just going to do a walk around. And I'll have to come back because there are more uh, Largo's lakes nearby and other things. And it's, uh, it does have a lot of wildlife. I think it probably comes out at different times. It's gone a bit cooler now, a bit, a bit cloudier. So I'll just follow around the side of this lake and come back again for more. Into the great wide open. Well, the train went over that. I thought it was a motorway at first and I spotted the train. I saw it further along there and I knew it would turn up. Well, hopefully it should do. Well, it did. Anyway, let's go and uh, have a little walk along the side of the lake. Uh, if you're wondering what these things are, I had to check them on the map. They are bunkers from the Second World War. There's another one there. I thought at first, from a longer distance, that it was one of these little caravans selling coffee or something. That would be nice, wouldn't it, with a view of the lake? But it's not. They're World War II bunkers. In those days, they were tough times, you know, you were told to wear a helmet and get on with it. Still good advice, isn't it? And the walls have ears and all this stuff. Some kind of announcement going on. And uh, at least, what, three or four miles away, you can hear it. It's good, isn't it? It's nice to know whatever it is. It's. Uh, Telling you not to forget about the recycling bins. Comes out on a tannoy along with all the other um, information. Yeah, so there's more over that way. There's some kind of industrial stuff going on there. That's some workings. wide angle because this is a wide angle kind of place we've got the flag there let's, let's have a look at the old Spanish flag this is yeah Fira España Oh, there's a hillock and another hillock and then there's a pillock with a camera.
That's a big clump of bamboo. Mm, is there any fish in there? There's nobody fishing. Well, there's a wild fire. It's uh, open land. I don't think it's farmed or anything, but there's nobody there. So I guess there isn't any fish, or they're not allowed to. over there huh? no. I'll have to zoom in to see it but it's there you go back to the uh, long way off Yeah, no fishing and no water skiing, no, no uh, paddle boating, no, no jet skis, Open up a little business, probably end up killing a few people doing it, but yeah, there's that bunker again, for some the reason I painted it white. Like I say, I thought it was a little caravan, you know, like one of those Volkswagens that they opened at the side. It was a bit disappointing when I found out. When I get close, because it could be the windows at the side of the vessel. You know, I'm not daft. Well, not that daft. But uh, yeah, I bet it might be, well, it's just a bunker, isn't it? There's, there's nothing. From where I am, you'd have to detour a lot. I'm not going to scramble up the side of there, so. Sorry, folks. Those bunker enthusiasts will have to find somebody else who does that, specializes on bunkers. beauty of this, I'm not up in the hills to any degree and uh, it's fairly level, a bit rough underfoot but not difficult. Nice area. Unfortunately there's people to decide like have you put them those places to dump all their garbage. That's why I'm not doing extensive walks here because it only needs, you know, just uh, too much to try to avoid that uh, the stuff there that shouldn't be. Kind of try to pick out things. Don't know what that is. It's man-made, isn't it? Pipes had its day, hasn't it? You can hear that again. Maybe somebody's escaped in the not too distant future. They've gone outside their 15 mile zone and the helicopter starts flying out for them next. Dystopian, isn't it? That's the word for it. Uh, 
I'll have a pizza. Is anyone? Well, they've got the wood. I could arrange that, sort it out. I should have got one from the consum, consum or whatever it is. Uh, supermarket. There's something down below. Gotta be careful. Oh yeah. That's it. Oh. Wonder how many hangings he had there. Oh, there's another one in the way. There's different uh, colours here in the rock, I've noticed. That sort of orangey thing is usually a sign that it's iron or something. Usually iron. Here, there as well. There's traces of it. That's why they're working it for something. It could well be iron, I don't know. But that's a rich amount there, isn't it? That's, uh, No sign of any wildlife. It is there because the reviews, quite a number of different. Uh, if you look up at this place, I can't remember all the. There's quite a number of things you wouldn't expect here, but not uh, not at this particular time of the day, I reckon. Man, it's sort of November. Know which is the best time. Don't even know if they have migratory birds here. I know there's a place I want to go to that's got some flamingos. I presume this will be there around the year, all year round. Some kind of wall that was built there. Not a very big one, but there's something. There we go. Go around this corner and have a look at this uh, building. Well, there's a lot more to explore around here, that's good. And I can have a day. It's so peaceful. Even that dog stopped now. And that's how, you know, even when you're nearby, you don't see that lake. Largo. Or is it Lago? I don't know.
Yeah. Or Lego. That might mean something. Where, where was it invented? Denmark or something. Maybe that means... And here, this is where you got your Lego. Getting your Lego over at the Largo. The fire here. Oh, well, that's... Uh, wasn't expecting anything better, but... They're like um, dike things, aren't they? They're pipes that bring the water, helping it flow into the lake, you see it. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Uh, I'll probably be back in civilization. <laughs> well, I am. I'll, uh, but I'll be out here to see if there's more to see, so. Thanks for joining me, I'll bye-bye for now.